Welcome, star kids and friends. Today's passage is Acts 9, 19b to 31. In the previous passage, God did what only God can do. He changed Saul from someone who persecuted believers into a man who believed in him. God revealed that he had chosen Saul to take the gospel to the Gentiles. A Gentile is someone who is not a Jewish person. In today's passage, we see how real Paul's new faith is. He is a radically different man than before. Before we read today's passage from the Bible, let's pray and ask God to teach us. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word and thank you for changing the life of Saul. Teach us as we read this passage today. Amen. Read along in your Bible with me, starting in chapter 9, verse 19b. Saul spent several days with the disciples in Damascus. At once he began to preach in the synagogues that Jesus is the Son of God. All those who heard him were astonished and asked, isn't he the man who raised havoc in Jerusalem among those who call on this name? And hasn't he come here to take them as prisoners to the chief priests? Yet Saul grew more and more powerful and baffled the Jews living in Damascus by proving that Jesus is the Messiah. After many days had gone by, there was a conspiracy among the Jews to kill him, but Saul learned of their plan. Day and night, they kept close watch on the city gates in order to kill him. But his followers took him by night and lowered him in a basket through a hole in the wall. When he came to Jerusalem, he tried to join the disciples, but they were all afraid of him, not believing that he really was a disciple. But Barnabas took him and brought him to the apostles. He told them how Saul on his journey had seen the Lord and that the Lord had spoken to him, and how in Damascus he had preached fearlessly the name of Jesus. So Saul stayed with them and moved about freely in Jerusalem, speaking boldly in the name of the Lord. He talked and debated with the Hellenistic Jews, but they tried to kill him. When the believers learned of this, they took him down to Caesarea and sent him off to Tarsus. Then the church throughout Judea, Galilee, and Samaria enjoyed a time of peace and was strengthened, living in the fear of the Lord and encouraged by the Holy Spirit, it increased in numbers. What is God saying to you today in that passage? Think about it. Read over the passage again, if you like, and then write it down in your soap journal. Don't forget to share what God is teaching you with someone else. <laughs> 